Good morning, August 7th. Wise conversationalists, speaking the truth in love, may we grow up in all things into him who is the head, Christ. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 15. A Chinese proverb says a single conversation across the table with a wise person is worth a month's study of books. Let's be like that wise person. Colossians chapter 3 verse 17 tells us that whatever we do in word, we should do in the name of the Lord Jesus. In other words, we should speak as Jesus would on all occasions. The method and manner of expressing oneself matters. What we say should always be true, and our words should be lovingly motivated and delivered. Speaking the truth without love is harsh. Speaking in love without truthfulness is hypocritical. And I would argue that it's counterproductive. You're not actually being loving. If you speak in love in a loving way, but without truth, you're condemning the people you're speaking with. We don't have to say everything we think, and we don't have to have the last word in every conversation. A harsh word stirs up anger, so we should rejoice when we restrain ourselves from speaking unkind thoughts. As British writer Dorothy Neville puts it, the real art of conversation is not only to say the right thing at the right place, but to leave unsaid the wrong thing at the tempting moment. The man who lives right and is right has more power in his silence than another has by his words. Philip Brooks Good evening. He carries us day by day. Our God is a God who saves. From the sovereign Lord comes escape from death. Surely God will crush the heads of his enemies, the hairy crowns of those who go on in their sins. Psalm chapter 68 verses 20 and 21. In the presence of God, meditate on the image presented in this passage. Place yourself in David's position. When you begin to talk to God about your needs and concerns, imagine that God's arms surround you with loving protection and allow His encompassing presence to comfort you. What images do you have in your mind when you pray? Do you have a picture of a loving father who hears the cries of his child? Or of a mighty warrior who has charge over countless legions of angels who are ready to do His bidding? Your answer will probably depend on what it is that you are asking for at this time. David's prayer provides an intimate image of God who carries his child in his loving arms.